Hello and welcome to Cinto Rents Corner. And today we are reviewing from the GI Joe Classified Series Flynn. Now this guy is one I've been sort of umming and ahhing around, and I've been waiting for him to like go down in price a little bit, but he always just seems to stay at that regular price. But I thought I'd just bite the bullet because before you know it, this guy is going to just disappear. And uh, I'm glad I did because I really wanted Flint for my shelf. And now I've got Lady J. He, she definitely needs a bit of company on the shelf. So he's looking pretty cool. We've got his shotgun here. We've got his pistol. Got his beret. Whether there's any kind of hidden accessory behind this part here, I'm not too sure. But yeah, looking pretty nice. We've got the illustration there of Flint on this side. Again, up here on here. Around on the back is quite the earlier versions, but we've got quite of a bit of an up-to-date collage there on the back there. He is number 26 in the packet, and then we've got all his attributes here on the side. So I guess without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. So here he is in his blister pack. Unfortunately, there isn't any extra accessories around here. This is probably like the the least accessories I have got with a classified series. But, you know, we're used to it. It's Hasbro, Star Wars Black Series, sometimes only give us a gun. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And at least we've got the option there to take off his hat. So we just pull him out for our first impressions. And uh, I do love the camo of his uh, trousers down here. It looks pretty cool. And, um, yeah, it looks like a great figure. Going to go away, put him through his paces, see what he can do with his poses and whatnot. And we'll see you in a moment. been away we're taking these pictures and what can i say about this figure well actually initially um being this one being a, an older figure i had my fears that his joints and stuff wouldn't be as good you know as the gi joe classified has sort of like come to leaps and bounds of its own i actually thought he might be a little bit kind of off compared to like dusty of recent releases but actually he's turned out pretty good the only gripe about him i would actually say is his lack of accessories lack of backpack there's not even a hole in the back either so if you wanted to put one in you could, but there's not even that either. So he only comes with a shotgun, his hand, and his uh, beret. So taking a closer look at the actual uh, accessories, they're actually quite a nice looking part. So he's got this kind of sort of like super fired up shotgun here looking pretty cool. You can hold it in both hands as you can see, and the details on there are pretty nice. So taking a closer look at the actual gun as well, on this side, we've actually got all the detail parts. This bit doesn't move, unfortunately you can't move it up and down. Uh, all the paint apps on there, which is on the shelves, which is quite nice. And it also has like a load sort of stock area, so you can actually make him look like he's reloading the gun and choke it back up. So yeah, pretty cool. You actually got a holster on the back here where you can actually store it, so you can push it down this far, all the way down. Um, it looks a bit weird. I mean, I kind of would rather it being either straight up or this a little bit higher. Uh, just so you could see it from the back. Um, I don't know how this is inaccurate. Is this how you would carry a gun or there's actually ammo pouches that carry it this way. But to me, it just looks a little bit goofy and looks a little bit too low for what you can have. The other accessory he has is obviously his little blaster here in the holster. Again, standard issue. Um, a little bit futuristic like on there, um, but it's quite nice to have a sidearm for the guy. And um, pretty cool and that just obviously goes into his holster on the side the holster again is done in a different kind of plastic so it's separated sculpt to the actual figure so you do get that loose kind of movement around but a little bit of dab of glue just in the right areas will keep that in place for sure and then last but no means least is his beret uh headpiece up here it's quite nice actually your hat it fits on really well it's really kind of uh, secured in there. It doesn't move around and it kind of sort of fits over his hair. So he's got this kind of sort of like a uh, jar head haircut, I guess. And um, yeah, looking pretty cool. I always kind of imagine Flint having a, a complete skinhead rather than having a kind of swept over part on there. But because of that mold, it fits on the hat and the hat just clips over the top of it. So uh, yeah, pretty good. So with that, we can actually go through his articulation. So head wise, he can turn left, right. He can look down and look up upper neck movement lower neck movement a little bit of swagger there but not too much in the head there full rotation at the arm we have got a butterfly joint in there as well and the arm can come up to this far full rotation at the upper arm here and we've got a double elbow joint as well rotation at the wrist and it's also on a hinge waist he can swivel left and right might be kind of a bit of a ball joint actually down there 
um, because there is a little bit of a kind of tilt. There is ab crunch in there apparently, but um, obviously we can't get to it because of the armored part. Um, so yeah, that's really hindered there. Leg wise, comes up this far, comes forward, comes back. We've got upper five rotation. We got leg like pin drop as well in his hips there. We've got double knee articulation that comes up to this far, rotation at the boot cut, and then got a rocker and a pivot at the ankle. So yeah, all good, really good articulation. Obviously the only older part about it, it has got pins in his joints, which is, you know, give or take. I don't really care about pins to be honest. I'm so used to it over the years um, that it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, looking at the actual general look of the actual figure itself, really good likeness I think to Flint. I just think it's a, a really cool looking sort of like face sculpt on there. Uh, really looking sort of like a, a guy that means business. On the uh, beret you've got up there, got his little kind of sort of badge on here. We've got all his ammo clips and other parts down here. I would like to see more kind of sort of like a, maybe silvering around on these ammo parts here and a couple of buckle clips and stuff around. Um, it would make it look pretty cool to be honest with you. Uh, on the arms, just general shirts underneath. We actually got this little badge up here that's all painted, looks quite nice. Got brown gloves, this side we've actually got a watch on there as well. And then down to his camo legs, uh, looking pretty cool with nice kind of uh, armoured pants on there. And um, yeah, really good, really kind of glad that I've actually got him. I feel like, and I have been looking at a lot of people that have mod this quite a bit. So um, I'm thinking of doing the same because I do like the retro look of, uh, of my flint. Uh, from way back when so I think I might do that to open it up so he's got more of a shirt uh, showing I might even actually remove all these pouches so it's just he's just got the uh, sort of like uh, the braces that come over the top of the gun parts so just putting him on the side there we can do a couple of size comparisons making him just stand up nicely we can bring in his uh, GI girlfriend Lady J uh, for a nice size comparison there and then we could bring in Captain America you know being one of the leader of the Avengers and Flint is obviously one of the leaders of G.I. Joe. Is he? I feel like he is. I'm, I'm sure it's like Hulk, Duke and Flint. That's the way I always kind of looked at it anyway. And then we have got a Stormtrooper. So these guys kind of fall in line with the Marvel Legends sort of sizes of the 6 inch compared to the smaller 6 inch scale what Black Series is. Um, but yet yeah, they can still cross worlds and like that not looking too far out of it. So in my opinion, yeah, if you're kind of holding off thinking that is uh, is sculpt and articulation is probably not as good as the newer gi joe especially if you're like me late coming into the actual uh, range and all that don't be alarmed it's actually a really nice figure so thank you so much for joining me this one don't forget to comment down below subscribe ding that bell follow me on instagram and i'll see you next time take care